Tuesday, right? Good Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. 37 degrees to start the day off at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury. 37 degrees here at the Weather Center. And you can see a kind of a chilly start to the day for everyone. 27 degrees up in Boone and Jefferson. Some of the cold spots in the state this morning. And then as you head out toward the coast and the sand hills, temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 40s. And there's also some low 50s out there toward uh, Red Springs coming in at 53 degrees this morning to start the day off as the warm spot on the map. The cold front came through the state yesterday and is out over the Atlantic right now. And you can see it's got some isolated showers behind it, some storms out ahead of it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any rain here in the county last night. We certainly needed it, uh, but we will take a look at our next best chance for rain, which will happen during the overnight hours tonight. This is around 1 a.m., and we'll take you hour by hour starting at this point. So as we head to 2 a.m., you see chances of rain are still sporadic. Things are still loading here. And as we head to 4 a.m. and during the overnight hours, things still continue to stay kind of spotty and isolated. But the good news is, as we get into the daytime hours on Wednesday, we do start to see some rain chances picking up and moving through uh, from the mountains, and we'll continue to keep an eye on that as we go through the day. Unfortunately, as they get through the mountains, they start to really fall apart. So we're going to see about a 30% chance of rain during the day on Wednesday, mainly during the probably the uh, afternoon and evening hours. Not a lot to get excited about, unfortunately. And then as we head to the weekend, we will warm back up into the low 70s on Saturday. But we do have a, a fairly decent shot at rain on Saturday if it will hold together. Now, keep in mind, this past weekend, as we were looking ahead to Wednesday, we felt like we had a good shot at rain. The models were pointing to it and all that. But as the system made its way through the country, it did not pick up as much moisture as the models were anticipating. So now it looks like our rain chances for tomorrow are not as good as they were a couple days ago. We'll continue to keep you updated on that, keep an eye on it. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. We'll come back and give you the five-day forecast and more right after this. Weather impacts for today sponsored by Patterson Farm. The greenhouse is open through December the 23rd. You can go out and purchase your poinsettias for the holiday season. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. are the hours of operation. They're closed on Sundays. The only other day they're closed during this stretch is on Christmas Eve. Otherwise, plenty of opportunities to get out there and purchase your poinsettias to decorate around your home for the holiday season. Weather impacts for today, we'll see mostly sunny skies during the day. Winds will be out of the northeast at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. And we will see mostly cloudy skies this evening with rain chances increasing overnight. But the better chances for rain will be during the afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday. Coming up this Saturday, it's Christmas in the Grove in China Grove, taking place from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. All kinds of activities going on out there. Santa and Mrs. Claus will be out at Anna Park face painting also going on. Mrs. Claus caroling and ornament making will be taking place at the roller mill. Hot chocolate out at Anna Park. Games and cotton candy at the fire department. Hot dogs and drinks will also be for sale. And then sledding will be weather permitting on Swing Street. Rain will uh, have an impact on that. Uh, we're continuing to keep an eye on that, but as of right now, rain chances are fairly decent for the evening hours on Saturday, so we'll continue to keep you updated on it, but do keep in mind that the sledding, as every year, is weather permitting because, unfortunately, uh, you have to have the right conditions to put that snow down and for it to stay there and not become a wet, slushy, nasty mess, so We'll continue to keep you updated on it as we head through the remainder of the week. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling. 
built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. We'll see partly sunny skies today, high at 50 degrees, mostly cloudy skies by this evening with a low of 37. Rain chances move in for Wednesday with a 40% chance of rain, high at 50, low of 28 with partly cloudy skies by Wednesday evening. On Thursday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high at 52, increasing cloudiness once again on Thursday evening with a low of 36 for mostly cloudy skies. And then on Friday, we'll see a 40% chance of rain off and on during the day. It's not gonna rain all day long on Friday, but it's certainly going to be a day you wanna keep the umbrella handy just in case you get caught in a passing shower. High of 59, low of 51. On Saturday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the day with a high of 73. A 60% chance of rain during the afternoon and evening hours on Saturday with a low of 48. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Tuesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.